What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sophia, from RSVP. Long time no see. I wanted to do a new video for you guys. I've been doing a lot of outfits of the day, but I finally got a little time to sit in my office and work on a haul video. So this is going to be a call, a little bit of a collective haul, a little bit of stuff that I bought from New York, which is long overdue. Um, if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. Update first. So, I changed jobs, went to New York, did a couple of things like have a boat ride, went to a few parties. It's been a pretty crazy summer. But I'm pretty happy with all the things I've done in the last few months, which is why I haven't been able to record a video in my actual uh, Putting video up a lot of outfit area. of the days, which thank you guys so much for all the positive comments and likes on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube with the outfit of the days video. So I know I put up a lot of videos. Sometimes it's easy to shoot those videos because of the fact that I'm not talking and because I can narrate a little bit or add a little bit of music. And for the most part, a lot of people enjoy my outfit of the days videos because, you know, my main reason for this channel is fashion and shopping and style. So I'm really glad that you guys have enjoyed that. And um, the reason why I do that is so that I can stay consistent and still give you guys one or two videos a week. Um, when I'm on a job that doesn't really allow me time to record a video What I like tried this. to do when I came back from New York was upload a few outfit of the day so I could try and show you guys the stuff that I bought. But I was looking through my closet the other day and I still have quite a few things that are still available in store. So I did want to show those to you guys now in case you're in New York. I did quite a bit of shopping in New York but these aren't high-end items at all. Everything I bought was on sale and it was all from stores like Necessary, Dr. J's, etc. So I'm going to just jump right into it. The first thing is, um, I guess you would call this bodysuit inspired by the American Apparel bodysuit. Um, these were all over New York. Dr. J's, Jimmy Jazz, everybody had them. They were $9.99 and I thought the cheetah print was fun to wear with jeans or to wear to a club. Or just to do something um, The next with. item is a BCBG dress that I got on sale. Um, it was half price and it's a sequin uh, dress. Um, I actually wore this dress Caravana weekend and I didn't even get to um, take a picture. But I wore it with my red hair. I don't even remember how much it was. But I know it's on sale and I know it's still available on the website. I love this dress because of the color. I bought a lot of, or I have a lot of uh, rose gold jewelry, and I thought rose gold jewelry really, really, really complements the detail in this dress. So, perfect dress um, to rock with that. I have a wedding video that I'm going to show you guys an outfit for. It was the outfit of the day, and I'll probably put it up next week, but um, one of my girls got married, and um, this is the dress that I wore. It's a BCBG dress called Amaral, and it's a maxi dress. And it's completely covered in sequins. I'll kind of go closer. I hope you guys can see that. It's clear sequins and bronze sequins and gold sequins. And it's all the way to the floor chiffon with a tee back. But as I said, you'll get a full shot of this uh, dress in my outfit of the day video. The next thing I want to show that. you guys is a pair of pants. And oh, let me just shout out some of my homegirls that I met up with for lunch in New York. I know you guys already saw that video. But I went out for lunch with Philly Diva, Pretty Little Things by Cormy, Jackie Dollhouse, Eccentric Diva, and one of um, Pretty Little Things by Cormy's friends um, from Italy. And we had a really great uh, brunch. There's a link to that video. It's on my home channel page. Um, so you guys could check that out if you haven't seen it already. But after the girls all separated, I was still with Jackie Dollhouse and we hit Soho. And we picked up quite a few things that necessary. So the first thing I got was these pants, and everybody's wearing some kind of version of these pants. But instead of getting black and white, which is what everybody in New York City was wearing, we found the uh, beige, pink, and black with a little bit of gray. And I love these right off the bat. I bought them, and Jackie bought them, which she posted on Instagram, a wicked outfit um, wearing I that. picked up this peplum dress in beige. It's really pretty. It was actually a steal. It was $9.99 in the basement of the store Necessary. 
and they had racks and racks and racks of $9.99. In the summertime when I went, they had racks of um, $6.99. This time it was $9.99, so I grabbed a couple dresses. That I was also grabbed them. this dress, which was a new arrival, which I haven't worn yet. I think it was about $30. And what I love about the dress is the cutout in the middle and the detail around the bust. It's also a nice length, nice cut, and a nice color. And I picked that up at Necessary also. Um, the next, these pants that I grabbed were really just for fun. I saw them at Dr. J's. They were $9.99. And they're just these striped kind of leggings. Well, they're not leggings. They're a little bit looser. And they have an exposed zipper. I don't even know where I'd wear these. Probably around the house. But um, they're super cute, and I probably just wear them with a beater, sneakers. They were um, I picked up two of the same type of top from Necessary as well. I already wore this one on my boat ride. But what's really cute about the top is that it has the opening in the back, so it makes it a little sexier. And you can just do this with a nice camisole underneath or a matching bra color. And I picked it up also in a little bit of a lighter material, also in cream. And that was also from Necessary. These were all from the $9.99 rack. Um, and I actually wore this top and the black and pink pants together in the outfit of the day video where I show you where I changed my hair. So look out for that one. The next thing I got from Necessary was this blazer. And this blazer was all about the back. I saw it online before I went to New York City. And it was on my list and I was so happy when I walked in Necessary and found it. This jacket was about $40. Um, but again, really nice blazer, really nice cut. And the detail at the back is what sold Another me. blazer jacket. Jackie and I both bought this as well. And I showed this to you guys in the Outfit of the Day video just the other day. It's the one with the studs on the shoulders. And, you know, believe it or not, a lot of people didn't really love this outfit. I guess it was just a little too edgy for some people. Uh, but I love this jacket as soon as I saw it. And you can remove the bottom layer, which is just a layer of, like, chiffon. You can take that off. And um, I thought this was super cute for clubbing and for the fall winter. Season. Then I picked up another top from the $9.99 basement. And I just love these loose tops. Everybody wears them just kind of like a boxy style to wear with jeans, to wear with leggings, to wear with a lot of jewelry. There was a pop-up store um, that I've visited in, uh, let's see, 34th Street area. And I really, really, really love this store. Some hair in my face. Um, and... I forget the name of the store. I'll look for the card and put the link below. But they had this sweater. And as soon as I saw the sweater, I was sold. I showed it on Instagram. It reminds me of the episode of Sex in the City where Aiden makes Carrie throw out her Roberto Cavalli. And she wears, wears it on the last day where she throws a plant in the garbage. Okay, so this is adorable. It's a very light sweater with lots of bows all over it. And obviously, a sweater like this. It says a lot by itself. You wouldn't wear neck jewelry. I might wear some wrist candy and nice watch. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to try and recreate that look from Sex and the City. If it doesn't work, I'll do it with jeans. But I love, love, love this sweater. And it was probably the most expensive thing I bought. $49.95. I bought this black peplum dress that I saw at Necessary. I saw it online before I left. It is uh, cheapy. It has an exposed zipper. And it was $10. So that was a steal. I bought this futuristic dress which might need a little bit of work it was also ten dollars but when I tried it on the shoulders are very very uh, stiff and very puffy and almost space looking so I'm either gonna cut it and stitch it down but I will do something with it and I really like the simplicity of the black dress came with a belt and for $9.99 I'm willing to do the little extra and work then for the that. last dress that I got was this dress and this dress was $29.99. I bought this dress purely because I love the belt, the hardware on the belt. And I thought, wow, this belt alone is like worth the $29.99. So, um, yeah, it's a nice peach terracotta color. I could probably rock this before the summer is over. But a really nice strapless dress. And you could, it would look really nice with a blazer as well for work. Um, and then, I think that was last. This was the dress that I showed you guys in the most recent Outfit of the Day video that I posted. And it's the little black dress in the daytime video. And this dress is just a classic style, perfect for fall, winter, summer, whatever season. Definitely a go-to dress if you don't know what to wear and you have an occasion. Um, so that's clothing. I'll be back to show you guys some more goodies. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys some of the accessories that I picked up. And for the most part, 
I work for a jewelry company, so I don't really buy a lot of jewelry anymore. Um, and when I do buy jewelry or accessories, a lot of the time I buy them on 28th Street and I use my um, license to shop okay, the wholesale so district. The first bag that I want to show you guys is this round brown tan colored faux leather bag. It has studs all over and crystals and the crystals and studs are like gunmetal and the back of it is like a kind of like a crocodile print so um the back of it i don't love the back of it i love the front of it and the reason why i love this bag is because i thought for going into fall isn't this bag so different and so perfect for carrying books so look how thin it is it is kind of thin but it does hold a lot and the best part about this bag is look how easily it holds magazines so how many of you guys have bought W or bought um, the thick version of Vogue like the special issues they're always too heavy for your bag so that's why I got this bag I love my magazines I always carry them and sometimes on the job or on visits I have like a small handbag and a briefcase type of bag so this is my version for fall of the briefcase, and I love it. The second bag that I'm going to show you guys is sort of an, uh, inspired by Christian Dior. So Christian Dior has that, that quilted um, bag, and I love this bag, but not because of that. I loved it because it had a little bit of crinoline and um, like a little bit of chiffon on it and a little bit of polyester, I think. But I love this bag. It's so cute. It has complete, like, it's completely ruffled on the top. And this is a detail that I thought would add such a nice um, touch to my all black, all gray, or my very dark outfits for fall. So, um, you know, I don't even carry this style of bag too often. But again, it's the ruffles that caught my attention. And the style of the bag is very nice for work or every day. So that's my second The third bag, bag I picked up. I can't put it down and um, yeah I've had this bag as well from New York from the wholesale district and I've used this bag pretty much every day and I'll show you guys you're supposed to carry it by the chain but because I don't want the chain to tarnish quickly I've been stuffing the chain and just kind of carrying it as a wraparound so technically speaking the bag looks like this oh my god how cute I love the skull I love the crystal detail and it's it looks like leather, but it's not. And it almost feels really, really soft as well. So I love this bag for every day. It's adorable, and it's good for clubs as the well. The fourth bag that I got was this little clutch. I showed it in um, my outfit of the day video the other day. It's a simple clutch. It was really cheap. I think it was about $11. But I love the gold hardware. I love the patent leather. And I thought with all the black and gold that's in for fall, this bag will look really nice with a lot of my outfits. And then as far as black and gold, I'll give you guys a close-up of this other clutch that I purchased in New York, which I've shown in a video since I got back, which was a studded jacket video. And this is the big four-finger knuckle clutch phase. Um, so I really love the stud detail on it and the, the knuckles, of course. So that was another black and gold. Um, I guess I went a little crazy on that kind of um, trend that's happening right now with the clutches because I picked this one up also I picked it up because it was orange and the studs are pewter and pewter studs are making a huge comeback for fall um, I really really love this one and it's a lot sharper than the other one had flat studs these ones are actual mm. spikes and they're actually kind of sharp so you have to kind of be careful with this one but it was awesome bag and then I picked up a three finger one, which is this one here, which is a black kind of full snakeskin print with um, skulls through the fingers. And I picked up two of them actually. I picked up the pink snakeskin because I thought it was adorable. And one of them is silver and one of them is pewter. So they both go with like all of my jewelry that I wear most of the time. So these were super cute, and that concludes all my bags. Um, I got a lot of compliments on these glasses as soon as I put them on, which is so funny because I bought them in New York on the street for $3 in Times Square, and people kept coming up to me saying, wow, I love your glasses, I love your glasses, and I was just like, wow, they've been here all this time on a table outside. Um, so these are awesome, $3. I'm not sure if you could put your prescription in them because they're like a cheaper plastic, which is probably why they're $3. Uh, my next pair of glasses are, remember these? 
So I show you guys these glasses all the time. I bought them in my last big New York haul. I bought them at my jewelry spot and they're like the Prada knockoff and they have crystals on the sides. Um, my girl Jackie Dollhouse bought a pair too when we were there last and um, this time I picked up another pair because this pair is getting a lot of wear. I wear them every single day and they're starting to lose their stones. And the girl told me that they were almost sold out when I picked them up. So when I went back, I picked up a second pair for, oh boy, when I, when I retire those ones. Why is there tape on this? But anyways, this is the new pair that I bought. So it's the same lens and everything, but this one, the frame is just a little bit different. It's black on black with two white stones and black stones. So I love these glasses. I'll always buy them as long as they have them because they're like my most um, favorite shape. These glasses. So these are my Chanel inspired half tint glasses. I only wish they were tinted a little bit lower, but they'll do for now. They're 10 bucks and I bought them on eBay and I'll include the link because a few people on Instagram asked me for these. Um, but Zara made a pair of these that my friend has and I love the Zara pair. So I ordered these ones thinking that these would be similar, but they just needed to be tinted a little bit lower. Um, but as I said, they'll work for uh, now. Yes, I picked up this watch for $20 that kind of looks like a Michael Kors. I don't remember the name of the store and I searched the name of the watch and I can't find any more to tell you guys where else to get it. I picked up one bracelet, which is... Um, show it to you guys it's a lion head I picked this up because I had a lion bracelet before that um, somehow I lost it and it went with a lot of my collection so I was looking to replace that one and picked up this instead which comes with a ring attachment and lots of people have been showing stuff like this but um, last night I was trying to shorten this so I'm afraid to break it because I need to take two links out in order for it to fit me perfectly or I can just let it dangle I'll figure it out either way um, but I thought that was super cute. And then, of course, I picked up two wooden bangles that I posted on Instagram, which are these. Which are just really nice when you're wearing black. Um, especially for end of summer with maxi dresses and stuff. These are super cute. And um, I like those too. So, that's accessories. Oh, I picked up this belt. This belt is... Let me just take it off. I picked it up at the same place that I got the watch, and the watch and the belt together were $41 with tax. It's a spiked gold belt. I'm sure it would come in, will come in handy with all the trends that are happening. And this is an arm cuff. So this just goes around your arm like that, and that's an arm cuff. And it just has a little bit of uh, skulls on it. It's super cute. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I have to show you. What else did I buy in New York? I also bought in New York sneakers, which I showed already, so I'm not going to show them again because they were those pink Reeboks. I actually haven't had to buy shoes since Petite Feet, which is really amazing because I really controlled myself and said, no, I'm not going to buy another pair of black shoes because I have four or five pairs of black shoes that I only wore once from Petite Sale. So I'm really proud of myself when it comes to shoe shopping. I'll do big shoe shopping for fall. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this collective slash New York City shopping haul. You know I haven't done a haul in a little while and I told you I was taking a break before I go to New York. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the things that I bought and a lot of them are still available in store if you're in New York City and you do have the opportunity to go to stores like um, Necessary and Mystique Boutique, Dr. J's, etc. Um, the next few weeks is going to be pretty exciting. I'm working on a new kind of video that I haven't really seen anybody do on YouTube, but it involves accessories. And um, the reason why I've been trying to think of a really great video to do for you guys on accessories is because I have so much. Um, I have friends out there that have so much. And maybe this will inspire people to do a different style of video and, um, you know, besides the showing you guys how tour. I've done so my jewelry storage. I actually work for a jewelry company now, so you know, you could just imagine some of the samples and things like that that I have. But I don't want to do a tour where I go through my jewelry and show you guys every little piece. I'm not going to do that. I want to make it a lot more interesting. So stay tuned for the uh, test video of that. I also, when I went to New York, I bought a crazy red wig that I probably 
Well, I thought when I bought it that I could only get away with it for Caravan and Weekend. So that's when I wore it. And I actually did a video for you guys. I wasn't sure if I was going to upload it or not because people get a little crazy with hair color. Um, but in any case, I will. I have uploaded it already and I'll show you guys that video. It's quite fun and it just is about having fun with your wigs, having fun with your hair. You guys should know me by now. I, I, I'll try a lot of different colors. I'm not afraid to try those colors. I'll rock it. If you like haven't it. subscribed and you are watching me for the first time, what's up? And hit the subscribe button. Um, but for everybody else who has been leaving comments, subscribe to me a while ago. Thank you so much to everyone. And I'll see you guys again after the next few outfits of the day videos. Take care.